Well, season 18 playoffs game between Mocha versus For the Thrills versus in this in the team names of T Bagged versus Will Show You Hero Puddle. We have another Lone Druid ban, and there's a ban of the Templar Assassin. First game was won by T Bagged, and we'll see if uh, we'll show you Hero Puddle is gonna be able to bring this series back and force it to a game number three, or if they are going to be eliminated. We'll see. Ten seconds remaining. Radiant team banned. Doom is getting banned out. Doom was played very, very, very well by Forgive Me after. Uh, he had a really good lane, surprisingly, against an Ursa. And afterwards was able to make a lot of space happen and the Tiny just finished the game off, pretty much. Uh, the OD had a bit of a rough start, but in the end was still like, the ult still killed people and that's all that you really need him for. That's, what you, that's why you picked him, so. There's a Naga ban. Um... Don't want to deal with that hurt your hero, so just put it away. This time it's gonna be interesting if Radiant T-Bag is going to ban Vengeful Spirit or not. There, there is the Vengeful Spirit ban, and it is going to be yeah. Alina first pick. So this time Dyer wants to play this hero. Uh, the For the Thrills was playing that hero in the last game on the Radiant side uh, to big success and. Now Dyer wants to take that hero for themselves. We'll see how Radiant is going to respond to that. You could pick up something like a Keeper Ten of the Light. Remaining. Though she's quite good against the Will-O-Wisp, the Blinding Light Five makes uh, makes it a bit harder to, to do that though. Radiant team pick. And they are going to respond with the Sand King that was banned out in the first game. So this time it will be a Sand King. Are they going to go with something like a Zeus? Zeus really strong together with Sand King. Uh, you always will have the vision advantage from the Sentry. And uh, we'll, we'll see how this is going to work out here. Their second pick is going to be... They are going with the Tiny once again. Oh, my dog coming to me. You okay? Oh, I apologize. Uh, my dog just... Uh, Got really scared for something. You okay, Saber? You okay? Okay. And the dog is okay. Ten seconds no dogs remaining. were harmed during this production. She is fine. She is in my lab and she Five is doing fine. Remaining. So Tiny was played by uh, Mini Colt, I believe, in the first game. And he was absolutely massive. Uh, after laning phase, nobody was able to kill him. He dealt far too much damage for anybody to deal with, to deal with him. And... Uh, he carried, he, like, carried the game, the, the team. And we'll see how Dyer is going back. to respond to this. They are going to pick up a Lich. Lich, um, a pretty aggressive support despite the, the, the name of the Frost Armor. It is, uh, it can be used rather of aggressively. And there we see a brute mother ban again. Uh, it looks like um, either Grace, uh, most likely Grace, is a brute mother player. Uh, since Dyer can assume, they already see the off lane as well as the safe lane hero in the forms of Tiny and Sand King. Ten seconds so remaining. we'll see. We'll see how they Five are going to address remaining. that with the draft today. So only mostly have to worry Dyer about the mid hero. Back. Radiant Unless you want to ban some some supports. No, they decide to ban out the Arc Warden as well. Again, you don't want to get cheese picked in your playoff games. You don't want to be... Oh, 10th pick Broodmother. We don't have a Broodmother counter. I guess we've lost. Not a fun game. Not a fun game for anybody. 10 seconds remaining. And... We'll see how ra what Radiant's Five last ban is going to be. They are going to ban out the Drow Ranger once again. Uh, a hero that could deal with Tiny quite well. So I like that ban. The same with the Razor. Both of these bans targeted to defend, uh, to protect the Tiny. 
We'll see if Dyer is going to be able to find a solution to that hero. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. And what's going to be the next pick here? They still, like, they are very open with their draft. They can go for many supports together with Sanking. They could for, go for Dyer something team. like Leshrac. They Sky go for the Skyrath Mage. Um, also very, very potent offlane and uh, a lot of damage. <laughs> a lot of damage coming in with Sand King and the Skyrath Mage. If you can win the, the Sentry Ward battle, he, the Sand King is going to have a very good lane. Radiant uh, what is, how are they going to respond? They are going to pick the Viper once again. Uh, feeling the Viper is a good hero against the Tiny and the Sand King. He was doing really well mid. But I felt like his impact wasn't quite there. Uh, on the Viper. Remaining. He was just being ignored since he built tanky Five items, he didn't remaining. deal that much damage and so they just killed like two or three heroes before they even got to the Viper and then Viper was just standing there. Uh, trying to right, like doing right click damage but it wasn't enough to, t to win the team fight with it. I will see how Radiant is going to respond to this. They most likely will pick their second support here. Uh, I would wish for them something more with uh, direct stun. I mean, they have the Tiny, they have the Sand King, but uh, Skyrath Mage. Maybe. Hmm. Actually, maybe something like Crystal Maiden. You, you might just get blown up, but there aren't. Like, there's LSA, but apart from that, there aren't too many ways to stop your ultimate. Sinister Gaze. And they are going for the Shadow Demon! A uh, very interesting pickup here. A hero that can do a lot if you are... Uh, if you are a, a good Shadow Demon player. It has a lot of depth to it. Ooh. And the anti-mage pick up by the dire side. They say Tiny has his natural battle fury. Well, we'll go with the hero that naturally buys battle fury. A very interesting choice here. Uh, anti-mage can do... It's actually quite well against the Sand King. It's gonna have the, the magic resistance, uh, the innate magic resistance from his abilities Five against Skyrath Mage. Has to be a bit careful against the Shadow Demon, since Shadow Demon can make it illusions of, of anti-mage that steal your own mana. But it seems like a pretty good anti-mage game. If he can get ahead. Uh, if he's behind, if the Sand King has a blink dagger, maybe even the tiny going blink with the silence from the Skyrath Mage. Before the Manta timing of the anti-mage. That could lead to some disastrous fights for the anti-mage. And we have an Abaddon ban. Abaddon getting banned out from the Radiant side here. Dire, what are they going to ban out? What fares well against the Viper mid? Or what would... Ten like, not only what fares well against the Viper mid, but also what would go well with your team. Five seconds remaining. Or is... Uh, Konka comes to my mind. If he plays, uh, if uh, Grace plays Conker, should be just fine against the Viper. Hmm. Could 
does so. Now Lena is on the dire side. I was thinking Lena mid, but... I mean, they could switch it around with uh, Lena mid, Viper 5, Lich 4. Just like a clowny, to say the least. <laughs> and we have one minute left of reserve time for the dire side, for their ban and their pick. They will have to reveal their entire lineup before Radiant does. And there's a Venomancer ban. The hero has been completely un, uh, not banned or picked in the previous game. And in this game, it is a ban in the last phase. Would be a really good pick off. Would it? But they have Sand King for the offlane. Venomancer mid against Viper. I guess that will hold your tower. And you will like just push and Viper will be out of lane. Ooh, they go for a Huskar last pick. What's going to be the response from Radiant? Um, I feel like they do have ways to deal with a Huskar. And there is going to be a Clink. Some very unorthodox pickups here. In this game number two again. Dyer has to win this game to keep their tournament chances alive. This is a best of three and Radiant is up one game to zero. We'll see in terms of draft this clinks. It seems it seems a bit of a weird draft from both sides if I may say so. Both teams have this uh, this mid laner, or like both, so both teams have this uh, safe laner that has or will go Battle Fury, has a Battle Fury on Tiny, will go Battle Fury on Anti Mage. And then you have the offlane Viper that is gonna go in against the Tiny. I think that should actually fare pretty well. It's Tiny and Shadow Demon against the Viper Lina. Viper Lina should win that lane. I'm... I don't know. I mean, Tiny has the additional damage for with the tree grab. We'll see how it is going to go here. In this, uh, in this game. Quite good win rate. 1,000 to 800. And we are into the game and we are having a free camera. We are going to last hits and free we have on the Radiant side it is for the thrills <laughs> on the Skyrath Mage. Mini Cold again on the Tiny Lankir on the Shadow Demon mid. It will be Grace on the Clinks and then the offlane it will be Forgive Me After on the Sand King. Meanwhile on the Dire side it is Sevil. On the anti mage, Nixon's on the Lich. Uh, Shadonra on the Huskar this time. Prophet on the Viper. And Ratman on the Lena. They are lacking some stuns on this dire side. Especially from their offlaner, aka Kors. And uh, Lich just playing around with his uh, ice ball head. Is there going to be any fight for this rune here? Everybody just looking at it. Do they see each other? Yes, they do. And there we have the 10 second mark. Sand King, he has. He would have a stun. Does he want to level it up? The there it is, a leveled up stun. And there is the stun onto the anti mage, and anti mage is blinking out. Does take some harass damage, and it is three bounty here. runes for the Radiant. And a tip for the Sand King saying, You leveled up Boris Strike and not Sandstorm level one. Did Ratman spot this uh, ward? being placed down 
He might be able to deal with this early on. There is a stun onto the Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon taking a lot of harass damage from this Lina. It's at half health. Doesn't has a self, but it's not gonna be too happy to use it that early. Ooh, Huskar is getting low here. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kling's full health still. Not for you. Of course, he has the Berserker's blood, getting more regen and more attack speed. So far, getting no last hits, only the nice. And that's a lot of damage on the Huskar. Huskar has a self. He now has flaming spears. Or burning spears. Burning spears, not flaming ones. Burning spears to throw onto the Klinks. Half self has been used. And Grace already level 3. 7 to 2 to the 4 and 2. Blink out from the anti mage. And there is a stun on the anti mage. And Scarath mage is getting attacked here. Nice frost blast on two heroes. And Lich is just going to continue to hit this Scarath mage who doesn't. Who didn't bring a lot of region. We are two minutes in a less than 1k lead because nothing really has happened yet. And so far it does look like they are disrupting this anti-mage and he is silenced. Is he gonna get out of here? No! Nice pickup of silence there from the Skyrath mage. Any tips? Oh, the trash talking. Um, stun SK level one. Stop talking. Thank you. <laughs> oh, blink SK level one. Damn, there is the trash talking here. Oh, blink AM. <laughs> He's like, yeah, so. The trash talking in this RD2L league, of course, always only meant in good spirits. Tiny did now reconnect. And it says go. Can we catch Tiny up on the drama? <laughs> Ratman wanting... That didn't want the Tiny to feel excluded from the alt chatting. My thanks to thee. But there we continue with the game. And uh, this Tiny has been left quite alone from the Shadow Demon. So he is picking up the levels. He's already level 3. <sighs> 2 points in 3 toss. He has 10 lasted Dyer's for the nice. Ooh, the Lich's Courier has been sniped by the Skyrath Vine while Skyrath the did go down. Warrior. And Sand King? Has mana for a stun here, but is he gonna get out of here? No, it doesn't look like it. He's just... He ate another Tango. Uh, not uh, not Tango, Mango. And that's just uh, lost value there. And uh, now this anti-mage is feeling a bit better about himself. Meanwhile, mid 16 3 to the 11 and 4. Kling's doing very well so far, but the burning spears, they are burning. They hurt. Uh, stun from the Lina, not quite going to hit. Ratman did start out with uh, Blightstone, so he is dealing a lot of damage to this tiny, and he realizes that now. He's destroying Radiant trees. Are fortified. And uh, Antimage is getting pushed under tower here. Has trouble CSing with all of that, uh, all of that pressure that is coming in from the Radiant side. Skyrath Mage went for two points in Concafis shot and one point in Ancient Seal at level three. Very surprising. And they're gonna get the courier from the Anti Mage. He did deliver his items, but. Evil is not gonna be happy. There is the stun onto the Lich and the silence to not have him let him have any armor, uh, frost armor. And they're trying to now also turn this around on the anti mage, but he steals their mana. 
And there's a stun onto the Shadow Demon down bottom. They're trying to turn this around on the Lina. Lina has two points of Shadow Stack. But Tiny is getting really low. He wants to do something here. But he's taking a lot. And so does Sh Shadow Demon. Both of them taking a lot of damage. Simply ignoring the courier, he is getting the Lina, but I don't know if you can just ignore Viper like that, especially not around the five minute mark. And it is four bounty runes for the dire side. You can't just ignore Viper hitting you like that. She does damage. Oh, there's a south for Tiny, Tiny getting tipped off. Meanwhile, mid, it's uh, both people just shooting, burning things at each other. One person with searing arrows, the other one with bur burning spears. Very igniting uh, mid lane matchup. And uh, this Sanking is pushing the anti mage out of lane quite heavily. He has the lowest amounts of CS of all the cores. Meanwhile, the Sand King having an absolute blast. With this uh, Skyrath Mage that went two points in Concuffy's shot. And now has a point in Arcane Bolt. There is a stun onto the anti mage and just some more right clicks. They see the courier once again. Oh, he is gonna micro him through the, through, the, uh, through the tower. And there was a kill mid. The ultimate was committed by the Klinks. And he finds the kill on the Huskar. Meanwhile down bottom we see another little skirmish happening and Shadow Demon taking a lot of damage here. He is dying. He is uh, dead. Uh, Viper deals damage. Viper not fun. And they are now trying to also go on to this uh, tiny nice stun for the LSA and Tiny is getting low. TP in from the Shadow Demon to save him. Is it gonna be enough though? There's another LSA and another few right clicks and Tiny does go down. Did Shadow Demon just TP into his death here? He is getting low. No, he won't die. He has a self. And Lich's courier is gonna go down once again. There is a blink forward from the anti-mage for the uh, Skyrath mage. Turn around with the arcane bolt. Is it gonna be enough damage? Anti-mage getting really very low. Here. But Lich getting the kill on the Skyrath Mage. Now Klink's also coming here to catch out the Anti Mage. No, Anti Mage is gonna be able to blink out. And then TP away. Klink's rotated, not getting any kills with it. Down bottom, they're trying to make a move on the Shadow Demon. Nice LSA, and Shadow Demon is dead. Only prolonging the inevitable and giving some more gold via illusion with the disruption. But hey, space created for the for the tiny. So tiny is is still ahead of the anti mage. It's both safe lane is not having the best game, but tiny definitely having a better game than the anti mage. And anti mage really needs his battle fury before he can catch up. Meanwhile, Tiny has his free Battle the Fury. Skyrath Mage actually maxing out the concussive shot over the Arcane Bolt. Is that what you're supposed to do? Did I play that hero wrong at the other time? And Klinks is rotating down bottom, using his ultimate, killing the Viper. They're also going to try to make a move on this Lina. LSA is going to stop everybody in their track, and there won't be a disruption in time because of cooldown. So nice rotation there from the Klinks, they get the Viper. Uh, meanwhile, mid tier 1 is taking some damage from these illusions. Radiant meanwhile, down up top, they get a kill on the Skyrath Mage with the Mana Void. And he is now also feeling very strong against this Sand King. Sand King has, has to use his wand and there is a stick available for the Anti Mage as well. He also has a wand. It's both wands. Well played there by both players, just uh, testing each other's limits. And we are closing in on the 10 minute mark. Uh, Radiant coming a bit ahead in terms of net worth for out of this laning phase. And it is mostly because the Tiny has a better lane than this anti-mage. The 
this Zanking has been able to bully this anti-mage quite a bit. There is another courier, and he's gonna get sniped once again. And no more passive gold for this anti-mage, and they turn this around on the Lich as well with the clinks here. I didn't even notice him. And the Shadow Demon did, did try to go for the Bounty Rune, but got killed. Meanwhile, Tiny gets this Bounty Rune here, so it is 3-2 two for 2. This one still not, no. 1-2. Three, four. So three for one. I wasn't stupid. Um, for the Radiant side and in terms of net worth, we see it is this anti-mage being behind. Everybody else is kinda on even footing with a slight advantage towards the Radiant. But they wanna they wanna now make space for this anti-mage. They pressure this. They pressure this uh, tier one down bottom. Viper strike on the tiny. Tiny gets disrupted, and he is fine. There is a turnaround with an avalanche and a toss. Toss under the tower and the uh, soul catcher as well as the demonic purge to ensure the kill on the lich. Mid laners both have hit level 10, both going for talents plus 8 agility on the clinks and plus 15 damage on the huskar up top. Sand King is not here anymore. It is just the Scarf Mansion. He has to be a bit careful against the against the anti mage, and they are going forward, wanting this kill on this Lina. Nice dodge off the LSA. There's a Laguna Blade, and Shadow Demon goes down. But there's the ultimate from Clinks, and nice two hero stun from Forgive After Me, and they get the Viper as well as the Lina. Well worth it there for the Shadow Demon to die. Two for one trade. But they are giving this uh, AM some space. He is trying to make his way back into this game. Clinks is back here again. He's going to try to make a move here. He doesn't have his ultimate. just going to strafe and put a lot of damage on this Huskar. Who is going to get a regen rune? He's like, I'm fine. And they are trying to move now. Now to make a move up top. What? The Skyrath Mage nearly soloing the Anti-Mage with his <laughs> ultimate, but there is now the Huskar here. It's gonna turn this around. <laughs> Very close, there's silence from on the Anti-Mage. But Mana Void was used and it is a kill on the Skyrath Mage. And Clinks is here now. They don't have a sen sentry ward here, so he they don't see him quite yet. Meanwhile, Viper is uh, trying to get some pressure done down bottom with the help of the supports. But the supports are now Napra. We good. We're gonna go mid, kill Clinks. That's their objective. I have to be careful. That's a, an e level 11 Clinks. Meanwhile, I miss. Nice kill there from the Sand King. How did that happen? So. That's the last time I, I, I will jump back in time. Last time, last time. So we have the Huskar. He is jumping forward onto the Sand King. Oh, silence from the Skyrath Mage. He didn't realize that Skyrath Mage was in the area. And with the Mystic Flare as well as the Silence, more than enough damage to bring down the, the Huskar. They also lose down bottom their Viper. Tiny has finished the Mask of Madness and he is... Starting to deal a lot of damage. We see this tower falling very quickly. And this tower is down. Last hit from the tiny. And we see now a 2k lead. It has been steadily growing for the last 4, 5, 6 minutes. And experience has always been in the lead for Radiant. They're now getting both outposts. The Huskar wants to redeem that fact. He has an armlet. Meanwhile, Clinks has the medallion straight into Axe. Oh, they are, do they want to make a move onto this Huskar once again? There is Mystic Flare up. And there is no Blink Dagger yet. Veil, 
with the silence and the stun more than enough damage is it gonna be enough no with the armlet toggle not enough to survive there shadandra going down once again just as he respawned a few minutes earlier and now they are going to try to take this tier one top meanwhile dire is getting the outpost here so that they at least get some experience at the 15 minute mark but it does seem like Radiant has a good grasp of this game. They don't even lose their tier 1 down bottom. Shadow Demon able to just push out the wave with his uh, Shadow Poison. And he's seeing <laughs> the Lina sidesteps the LSA. There's an Ironwood Tree recipe being found by the Tiny. He also has finished now a Yasha. Meanwhile, the anti-mage found an essence link and I miss a kill onto this Lina here. They're also going on this Viper and the Viper is gonna go down as well. This Gareth mage making so many plays with his ma Mystic Flare. Getting so many kills together with the Sand King. Vale, whew. Vale with Mystic Flare, so much damage. And they are also getting maybe this kill on the... Lich? Yes, they do. I was wondering if he was gonna cast his uh, Frost Blast since there are two heroes, but didn't want to use it. Did not feel like it was worth the effort. Now, Huskar is gonna go for uh, Sanj next. Klinx is here as well as Tiny. Do they make a move on this? They want to take the tower. And there's an avalanche on this, on this Huskar, but he just uses his inner fire and they will disengage. There is a Sand King. This is done onto the Huskar, into the silence. Can he armor toggle his way out of this one? No. Viper using the Viper Strike on the tiny Lina is being followed by multiple heroes and Shadow Demon is just gonna disrupt himself to save him. To save himself for a few seconds there and we are 16 minutes in, 6k lead this tiny. This tiny hero seems to be so strong in, this, uh, in the hands of Mini Cold. Anti-Mage, he still needs to farm. He has now the money for his Demon Edge. So that's good. But he is behind 7k lead now for the Radiant. And our Radiant gonna try to make a move onto this Anti-Mage. Klinx is here, he is invisible, and he sees the anti-mage, and he's gonna just, just gonna make him fear, make him fear, and he has to walk back here, are they gonna find him, <gasps> tiny, ooh, very close, are they gonna get the silence, and there is the magic shield, and it's not gonna be enough range on the silence there, Lich is here though, Lich, you might be in a world of trouble, is there gonna be an avalanche, no. Meanwhile, they're engaging on the Sand King. Sand King getting low. L uh, Laguna Blade was being used. Nice disruption there into the silence. That anti-mage is just evaporating. They find the Sand King. And it's a nice Frost Blast from the... Uh, chain Frost from the Lich. And they get the kill on the Shadow Demon as well. But it cost them so much. They're now trying to also get this Klinx. And Klinx is going to go down as well. Huskar showing his strength, but they lose their anti-mage without getting the tiny. Tiny just TP'd out. He also has the Sanj and Yasha now. What a fight. Nice disruption there from the Shadow Demon to save the Sand King at the beginning of the fight. But this tiny, 2, 1 and 7. Again, his only deaths are in the in the early, early laning phase. He has now so much armor. And there is a keen optic now found. It was a very nice chain for us being used by a Lich there, bouncing between three people multiple times, getting them very low and enabling the kills on the supports of Radiant. So they are getting down the lead a little bit. This anti they, they just need to make for the space for this anti-mage. He found an Iron Talon. He has his Demon Edge. He's just going to play the split push game. Is there a smoke? 
up from the dire. Huskar getting close to his son. Dragon scale found by the by the anti mage. He's put it on this courier. No, he has it. Okay. Instead of his essence ring. Meanwhile, they kill off the lich with the sand king. A lot of damage coming out from that Sand King together with the uh, Skyrath Mage. Skyrath Mage having done so many plays in this early game. He also has a Rod of Atos now. And uh, they have both outposts for the 20 minute mark. So only experience for the Radiant. And so far they have also picked up two bounty runes down bottom. Are they going to pick up both top as well? It sure looks like it. Grace has now finished his Aghanim Scepter and it's going to go into a, into a, what's it called, Desolator next. That's a, it's going to be very scary. And Sand King with his Blink going into a pipe now, has the Hood of Defiance. And the Tiny is going to go straight BKB, straight BKB, he doesn't want to play around here. It is playoffs game, it's not the normal season anymore. No memeing here. In terms of levels, we see they're all pretty steady. Pretty steady. Pretty even. Clings with his axe finished. That's a lot of damage. Now it's now he doesn't have to use his ultimate for every uh, for every pick off. If he really wants the, the pick off. Is there going to be a smoke up from the Dire? We should just... Antimage has finished now the battle fear. And considering his lane, that's not a bad timing. He's Your doing quite well. Going to go for a Manta next to get rid of that pesky, pesky silence. Meanwhile, Radiant is taking this Roshan. And Tiny. He's a monster. Dyer seems not to be aware that this is going on or decided to not contest it. Anti-Mage is taking the outpost. There's the Roshan. And they are going to be shrining up. Will they make a move now for all the tier 2s? They already took mid tier 2. Now they can take out top and bottom. Sand King is down here. They have the dust. LSA... Not quite in range, but there is a Laguna Blade and Anti-Mage is here. He's burning the mana off the Sand King. Sand King is going into the into the wall, woods and now they have to retreat now. There are four people here. Stun onto the Lina and Lina is dead. Nice attempt there, but Borrow Strike out after he has been dusted. Dodging the, the LSA. And Clinks, is he gonna make a play? Oh, he's gonna steal the haste rune away from the clings here. They see him though. Is there gonna be a dust available? They have sentries, but no dust. And he is just running away. He's getting very low to these burning spears. They deal a lot of damage. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And this Klinks is still very, very low here. Does he want to fight when he only has 400 HP? Radiant's top tower is under attack. Meanwhile, Shadow Demon has found the money for an Aether Lens. Lich, working on a Glimmer Cape, has the hood and Lina. Going for a Yule Scepter first. Radiant's top Tiny top pretty much top. has the BKB. 10 more gold. Ah, he sold something. Now he has it. Now BKB is on the courier. They see the anti -mage. Are they gonna corner him with the Sand King? And there's the stun onto these with it into a silence. There's the Mystic Flare and the Soul Catcher. Was that Soul Catcher? No. But so much damage coming out from the Sand King and the Skyrath Mage alone. It was before he had his Manta style, before he even has his Yasha. He can't he can't manta the silence off. And it is pretty much, it spells doom for him. Radiant it says silence, but it spells doom. It's a TP from the Sand King mid to save the tier one. 
Meanwhile, Viper as well as Lina take this tier 1 down bottom. Tiny has a BKB as well as Aegis and he is just like, hey tree, 1v1 me bruh. And now Klings feels like he wants to destroy the integrity of that 1v1. And now this tier, this tier 2, when did that tier 2 fall? I didn't even notice. And they see the Huskar here, Atos into a silence, into the Mystic Flare. Is there gonna be enough damage here? Avalanche, is there gonna be a toss available? No. Not enough damage to take down the Huskar, but sure enough to make him very scared to step out of the base like that again. I just heard a Laguna Blade on the Shadow Demon, but Shadow Demon is fine. Lina tried to combo him down, but is in precarious uh, territory now. It's just gonna side dodge him. And Huskar is stepping out again. There is a ring of rod of Atos once again. The frost armor to keep him alive. And there is the ultimate from Klinks now, and they're trying to destroy it. But meanwhile, Tiny is taking your tier three away. Viper has a rod of Atos. There is the two heroes done with an epicenter. And Viper is just going to go down. Stun onto the tiny. Is not doing much. And Huskar, he is getting avalanched once again. And he is taking a lot of damage in the Mystic Flare. And he is going to die down as well. Anti-Mage did show up. Huge mana void. Eliminating three heroes. And do they have enough to kill the tiny as well? Tiny Aegis is popped. There's a stun from the Sand King. Do they have any dust or sentries available? BKB used now from Tiny and he is mad. He is gonna man fight this hand mage uh, like it's his last thing to do. Triple kill for the Sand King. But what a turnaround. What a huge mana void. Huge mana void by the anti mage. Doing 5000 damage in that fight. And he didn't die. He is very close now to his Manta style. They only lost the tier 3. They will now lose their shrines very, very shortly. But apart from that, you couldn't really have asked for a better hold from Dyer. Huskar has now finished his uh, Heaven's Halberd. And is going for a BKB next. Heaven's Halberd, very good against the Tiny if you can get it off before the BKB, of course. Oh, they see the Lich here. Lich is gonna get disrupted. And oh, oh, Tiny is coming here. There's an Avalanche. And they get him. And he's bye-bye. Bye-bye, okay. Lich. And Tiny is also taking the Shrine away. Nothing for Dyer to do about, to do about that. Level 19 Tiny. Titan Sliver Hyperstone. Sanch and Yasha, BKB, Power Treads, and Mask of Madness. 14,000 net worth, nearly 15k at 27 minutes and 28 minutes. Quickening Charm for the Skyrath Mage because his combo wasn't short cooldown enough. And Sand King is gonna take this outpost back here. Is Anti Mage gonna do anything about this? No, he's gonna blink backwards. And Sand King has now the finished pipe. It's gonna go for a hex now and has 4,000 gold towards it. Do they find this uh, the Huskar here? There's a Rod of Athos in the Mystic Flare. And is he gonna go down here? No. He is gonna turn this around. He kills the Shadow Demon. There's a Laguna Blade on the Klinks. And Klinks is gonna go down as well. Tiny is here now. But he is quite alone. He is TPing out with his BKB. And they find the kill on the Skyrath Mage as well. Killing spree now for the Anti-Mage. Very good turnaround there from Dire. They don't lose anybody. And they get three kills. Huskar with very nice armlet toggle door there. He also has now a Paladin Sword which helps him out quite a bit with that lifesteal. So it is a 6k lead now. It is uh, declining a little bit. Uh, plateauing. Plateauing. Let's say that. Plateauing. Radiant Which uh, le ma makes me think that Antimage is, is kind of coming back. He is number one of net worth of his team. 
And there is a stun onto the Viper and the Huskar now. Inner fire to push them away and disarm them. Are they gonna get away here? Huskar is gonna turn this around. There's an epicenter use, but Huskar is getting low. He has an armlet. Is he gonna be able to turn the, to armor toggle his way through this? He is. Radiance top tower is under attack. And there is another borrow strike forward onto the Lich. Lich not gonna be as lucky as his course. And they push this from <laughs> from the river into the all the way into the base now and your base is uh, being under attack from from this tiny and this tiny is just destroying buildings anti-mage is cutting has cut the creep wave now but your mid racks is gone they are going top now is there going to be any backdoor protection soon it should come online any moment now there's a buyback from the lich and that's their that's their cue to get away they took the mid lane of racks Anti-Mage is, uh, is keeping on farming level 21. He is the highest level now. He has his Manta style going for Abyssal Blade next. He is starting to come online quite strongly. As you saw in his past couple of team fights, There is a smoke up from the Dire. They don't have their Anti-Mage with the them. They just want to pick up. Here. Pick off. There is now the TP from the Anti-Mage. And there is Vision here. Does Radiant want to make a move on this? They are still all smoked behind him. For a few more seconds, there is Klinks here. There is a Tiny. They are going... Anti-Mage is going on the Tiny, but Klinks is trying to turn this around. He is blinking away. Lich is in a precarious situation. They find the Viper on the backline, and Viper is going to go down here. It looks like... Yes. Now Huskar is here and Huskar wants to fight this. There is a disruption on him. There is a there is a Yule Scepter, but Klinks is making short work of the Lina. And the Huskar is 1v4. And now Anti-Mage is here. He's gonna try to turn this around. He's using his greater fairy fire that he found. And he gets the kill on the Skyrith Mage and the SD. Toss forward. And is he gonna turn this around? No! They get the kill on the Anti-Mage. And that 80 seconds without your most farmed hero very well played there with the toss and it followed the blink from the anti-mage and they are pushing now top there is no buyback available on this anti-mage we are 32 minutes in dire is not it's most likely not gonna gg out this is their tournament lives on the line here huskar is teeping in here now so they hold their racks. They are holding their racks. 11k lead now. Tiny still wants to fight this. They find they find the Sand King here. He has a Hex now. There's a Sinister Gaze Mystic Flare on the Lich. And Lich is still surviving. He is really low though. And he is dead now. No buyback for him available. There's the epicenter onto the Huskar. And Huskar is going to be able... No, he is dead now too. And the Lina is going to go down. Yulsus herself. Sand King is going to go down now. Lina dead now too. Lina is going to buy back. They are going for the tier 4s now. Anti-Mage is back in 10 seconds. 9 seconds. 7. And Laguna Blade on the tiny. They, everything just to keep them away. They lose all of their tier 4s. Viper Strike on the... On the Klinks. But he is just going to... Waddle his way away and Anti-Mage is back online. Your magic ends here. They lost their tier 4s. They lost the tier 3 top. But they didn't lose any Raxes more. They are still in this game. 14k lead. Everything rests on this Anti-Mage. He has his Basher now. Going for that Abyssal Blade. He also wants this Outpost most likely. Or is he simply gonna destroy the creep waves? Meanwhile, Radiant is taking the Roshan here. Not much Dyer can do with Huskar dead, with Lich dead. And that's Aegis in the hands of Klinks, feeling Tiny, you don't die too fast. Uh, you can just eat cheese. Which is uh, gonna be maybe half of his health. 4000 health on that Tiny. Tiny has the AC finished now. 
Going to go for the Daedalus next. Klings has the Desolator finished, has this Greater Fairy Fire. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And Sand King has finished the Hex, as we saw in this previous fight. Viper with the Guardian Griefs, keeping everybody alive quite a bit. And they find the Anti-Mage here with the Hex into the Purge. There is a Manta off and he gets out of there. The Epicenter was used. And they are turning this around on the Sand King here. Sand King very tanky, but he is going to go down. So, Epicenter used, uh, Demonic Purge used, and no kill on this Anti-Mage. But that is now a Crystalis on this Tiny, having a Daedalus very, very soon. Uh, actually, he does. He does have a Daedalus. Smoke up from the Dire now, and they want to make a play. Anti-Mage up front. And the but smoke myself, broke. The he realizes that there was somebody invisible here. Oh, Lich as well. Do they realize it's behind them? There, they see the Klink's, the Klink's uh, Agnum Scepter skellies. They find the Skyrath Mage. That's a good pick off. And he drops down the Mystic Flare, but it's not enough to kill the... Huskar, Huskar is getting low here, inner fire on this Klinks, this nice disruption to save him, and he is gonna run away now, and Huskar is gonna try change his target to the SD, but he is gonna go down to the avalanche of Tiny and the Klinks, they lose the Lich as well, Anti-Mage is here now, they get the Shadow Demon, but Huskar is already dead, BKB used by the Tiny, and he is destroying everybody, Mana Void, And uh, Anti-Mage is dead. Anti-Mage just died. Epicenter used by the Sand King. Good game is called. Very, very nice effort. They nearly brought it back with the Anti-Mage. But T-Bag taking the series. Two zeros. Well played. And we'll see you guys in the... I think it's quarterfinals? I th round of eight is the next. No, that's not quarterfinals. So, round of eight is next. Very well played. Oh, what's this round of 8? I'm not 100% sure. This was round of 8. Not 100% sure. Whatever, you can follow the, the schedule on rd2l.gg. Well played, everybody.